All right, let's see what day number four has in store for us. Okay, day number four is here. Tell you, this true control knife sure does make it so much easier to open these little doorways. Okay, so this is a, looks like a banner and it's got a couple of sentiments. Oh, it looks like we have another die. This is awesome because I have been wanting a really all good, a good all purpose banner die because you can use the banner itself for so many things. So here's your banner and then you have banner, you have thanks so much, happy birthday, and hello friend. And ironically, these are the three that I would probably use the most anyway. So this right here is a real treat. Okay, time for us to go and create some things with this. Okay, so I thought for today's project, day four, that we would make a series of tags. So we have this banner die, which you can use with or without the sentiments. And the sentiments with or without the banner, they say, hello friend, thanks so much, and happy birthday. So what I did is I pulled some scraps. So I have a birthday mix here, and I actually have already cut this. Um, this is from my A2 layer dies that I cut already. I have a bunch of, to me, these are birthday colors. So I have a bunch of strips. So I don't know if you're familiar with Laura Basson. She is amazing and she uses her scraps all the time, especially in strips. So I was looking through mine and I actually have a ton. So they need to move on out of my craft space. This is one of my little inspiration pieces. And I don't know if I'll incorporate that in here, but that's kind of my inspiration. And then I saw this at the end too. So I'm just having these off to the side. I may or may not incorporate them, but this was the inspiration for the happy birthday tag. Then I have the um, thanks so much. And for this tag, I'm actually going to use um, a tag from when I did some jewelry and I'm just gonna kind of use this up. This is going to have like a yellow theme. So I have a bunch of different yellow uh, scraps and some pattern papers and some green here because what I thought I would do is with the thanks so much, I'm gonna bring in a couple of the flower elements from day number three. So I'm gonna reuse that particular die from day three. Thought that would be a great um, addition. And then for the purple set here, I'm gonna be using the Hello Friend, and I've just got a bunch of different purples. I'm gonna again use up one of the other tags that I have previously cut, and then I've got a little bit of green because I'm gonna go ahead and reuse the flower dies as well. With all of that, let's go ahead and we're going to get started. The first thing that I would like to figure out is exactly what I'm going to use for the dies, okay? So what I thought would happen over here is that I would have these strips and then I thought that I would just use this banner die and this happy birthday in there. And I think the white on top of all of these strips would be a great offset. So I'm gonna go ahead and die cut. Okay, so I think what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and work with the happy birthday. My idea is that I would just put these diagonal like that. So I am going to line that up with that corner and that one up with that corner, kind of like that. And get this, because then I can use my grid lines to be straight. I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna just go like this the entire, the entire way down. All right, so this one is straight. And then I'm 
basically going to use my little inspiration piece and I'm going to go through and I'm just going to glue them up and lay them down. So this is our little birthday tag slash card. We are going to put this like so, but I do need to punch out a few more of these little, um, these little slits, just kind of punch through them really fast. So now you have a couple options. You can put it on there where you see the happy birthday. You can put it here on the purple and it would give it some dimension. So I think that that's, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Okay, so that is good. Do I have this backwards again? Maybe I have this backwards again. Oh, there we go, so much better. There we go, perfectly lined up and you can see the purple through that. All right. So then for this one, I'm just going to pop this up, then a little bit of liquid glue. This will give us some float time. And then I think I'm just going to literally put it smack dab in the middle, about right there. And finally, just a couple of sequin, not very much, two up here and one here. I don't think it needs very much. Okay, so this is our first tag. And again, you could use it as a tag. You know, you could punch a hole, tie a ribbon, put it on a package. You could just put it on a package. You can write a sentiment on the back. You could glue this to a card front. You could put this in a, in a tiny envelope um, with some cash. Lots of options. Okay, so I'm going to set that to the side. Okay, so for my next card, I am going to be gluing that down there. We are gonna make a couple of flowers. I'm gonna go ahead and just get these items glued together. So we'll be putting this large one on the large flower, just like that. The little one on the little flower, just like that. And then when we get all of our paper down, my thought would be that I would have these two things. Okay? So we'd have some flowers and we'd have some little leaves. So that's kind of the thinking behind that. Let's go ahead and get these little letters opened up if they are kind of being a little stuck there. Okay, so now before I glue things, I'm gonna make sure that I have it going in the right direction. Okay, I'm just going to let those hang out under my acrylic block. And then we're going to do kind of the same thing we did on the other. So I'm just going to very quickly cut some of these. All right, so I'm just going to do the same thing that I did before. I think this time I'm going, well, yeah, I think I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, and here is our tag. I'd let that sit for just a minute. Okay, so this is our tag that looks so good. And you can see like all the different pattern paper and the designs just looks so fun. We are going to put this kind of this way. I mean, you could go like that. That actually wouldn't be bad, especially if this is gonna be a tag. That actually is kind of cute. I like that. And then we could put a flower here. 
and we could put one here. I could pop that one up and I may move them over a little bit because I could put this out here like that. I'm not the best flower arranger, so okay, so that one would be popped up for dimension and then this could go across the front like that. Okay, I think I like that. You could always curl up your flower petals, you know, and that would be kind of fun. Okay, so we got this one in place. Actually, I'm gonna turn it a little bit this way. I'm gonna stick that right under there. And these, so I can keep my fingers out of the way. Okay, so let's see. I'll put it just like that. That looks good. And then I do still have these guys here. So I think just so I don't have to hold on to them, I'm going to go ahead and add these as a second layer. Give it a little bit more depth and dimension there. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, in person, this looks amazing. I can't go all the way to the edge. And I'm not gonna pop it up because I already have so much dimension here. So this is our second one. And I don't think I'm gonna add any um, embellishments to that one. I think it's just with the dimension, it's cute in and of itself. And so I'm gonna leave that as is. Let's go ahead and do the third one. So for the third one, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of an offset with this. So just ever so slightly down and over. So kind of like that. You just barely see the other layer. Okay, so kind of like that. So it almost looks a little bit 3D, even though it is not. Okay, and then I want to go ahead and build up the dimension here on these flowers. I love how that kind of watercolor effect you can see here in person, there's like darker tones through here and lighter tones here. It's just so nice. Okay, so then for our tag, and then I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer again, and I'm just going to cut some more strips. Okay, so same thing. I'm just going to do our little stripes. I think I want to go straight across. So I've done a diagonal. Actually, I've done the diagonals in both the same direction. I could go the other direction or I could go straight across. Maybe I'll just go the other direction. sit for just a moment. Okay, so while I'm waiting for all of that, I just want to turn these over. For these particular flowers, I want dimension, but I don't want a lot. So I'm just going to use thinner um, little adhesive pop-up strips. These are from Simon Says Stamp. Their loft is a lot thinner, which is exactly what I want. I think maybe the same thing for this sentiment as well. Okay, I think this is ready. Okay, so here is our little purple tag. And I think I'm going to do purple flower here, the other purple flower, our green sprig here. And then I think I'm going to have this go diagonal like that. And then we will have a trio of tags. There we go. Okay, here is our tree of tags. So the first one was just a rectangle that I cut out of my A2 layer die. One of the smaller ones, I think it was like the eighth one in. And then I did my strip scraps across and popped this up on some foam dimension and added a little bit of sparkle. Here is our second one. We had, again, more little strip scraps. However, these a lot of patterned paper and some plain to kind of break it up. And then the think so much with some floral elements. This is from day number three. And so I reused that die. 
Similar today for the second one, I brought in the day three die again, but did some purple flowers using some patterned paper and then some solid elements and then the hello friend. I did an offset on this one this time and then I had my stripes go the opposite direction. So that is all for day number four and I will see you again for day number five. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.